Introducing the all new Corolla. It's a 32,000 square foot facility that will see thousands of containers filled with consumer goods come through the island. Port General Manager Joanne Brown emphasized that this ribbon cutting ceremony is a major milestone for the port. It is a completion of phase one of three construction phases of the Guam Commercial Port Improvement Project. Three, two, one. We are seeing improvements and enhancements to this port that have not happened in close to 50 years since the Navy originally built the Port of Guam back in the late 1960s. Next for the port is the completion of phases two and three. Brown says that by the time they are done with the modernization program, every building at the Port Authority of Guam will have been renovated. It's not just the physical structures that you're going to see the improvements on. Uh, by the time we're done, every division that works here in the yard, even if you're not getting a new facility, you will get a renovated facility. We're going to upgrade the technological operations of this port so that we can compete with any modern port in the world. The projects were made possible through partnerships with the federal government and the Maritime Administration. It's all part of the $50 million provided by the federal government for the port's modernization program. MARAD Executive Director Joel Zabit flew to Guam for the special ceremony. He announced that in May, phase two of the project will be finished. And within 18 months, the entire port improvement program will have been completed. And that will, when the work is done, have increased the capacity of the port by 50% and the throughput of the port by three times what it is today. That is something that's going to serve the needs not only of yourself, but of your children, of your grandchildren, and of the grandchildren of everyone here in Guam. Governor Eddie Calvo, meanwhile, talked about the growth the island will be seeing in the next 10 years, starting with the port. And with all the improvements to Guam's infrastructure, the governor says it signals the start of the much-anticipated military buildup. It kind of puts into focus how important this facility is. And whether it's for someone going to a store and buying a can of Pepsi, or driving their vehicle, uh, or going to a, a doctor's clinic or a hospital for critical services. It's really about everything in this island. That's really what this port is all about. We have about $50 million in projects, and I think there's another 20, 25 million in potential other projects coming along with the port. We got about a hundred million in construction activity in the airport. And when you take a look at the utilities, GPA, GWA, some of our hot bond projects, uh, you're talking over half a billion dollars, actually closer to three quarters of a billion dollars in government, local government projects that will be ongoing in the next few years.